Hi, I'm Scott Clark from Schneider Electric, Director of Control Configuration and Management. And I'm here today to talk about Prometheus Control Standards and Management. Prometheus is about configuring systems that um, we can configure in, in a platform neutral way to deploy to any target or any type of configuration. So we can deploy to Rockwell, to Siemens, to Schneider, or even to IoT like Raspberry Pi or Linux embedded system. But probably the real guts of what Prometheus is about isn't just configuration management, because we handle version management, standards management, simultaneous deploy to complex systems. We handle a full hybrid control, hybrid DCS on any, on any platform environment. So we handle configuring the HMI and the PLC simultaneously, or the HMI and their IoT device simultaneously, and thousands of them, right? Complete with version management, multi-tenant and multi-user framework. But you know, that's just a foundation. That's the, that's the starting point for the vision of where we're going with the product. If you look at this simple example, what we have here is a, a four pump arbiter. So this is a customer's arbiter where they basically say, we've got in this industry, a common situation we have two, three or four pumps control. And when we have four pumps, do we want them to be three duty, two standby, etc.? So this is something they do quite frequently but it requires testing and commissioning. But if we can build this as a pre-canned component, we can put together a pump station in 20 minutes that would have otherwise maybe taken four weeks to do. But the beauty of it is it's already pre-tested, pre-commissioned, pre-validated, and all the diagnostics are built in. So there's no wiring checkout, there's no going into the PLC code, there's no, none of that tedium. There's probably one of the most amazing things is that we built a large number of these plants for this customer and we never even went to site to commission it. The customer themselves were able to commission it. So it was about adding, empowering the customer to build their own solutions to get the maximum, out, the maximum value out of their process where we could become then just consultants to them to improve their operations. So this pump, by turning on the four, by turning on here the four pump selection, it makes four connectors available. Those four connectors tell us we need to connect to four pumps because it was made as a fixed speed, not a variable speed, it tells us what it needs. So it wires in the pumps. The pumps wire in, in this case, we took this project, which would normally deploy to Siemens or Schneider, and we've deployed it to Raspberry Pi. And just to show the power of the distributed execution, we've deployed it to two Raspberry Pis. And what we've seen on the bench here is two Raspberry Pis running this arbiter. Now, if we flick to the HMI, we will see the HMI sitting here running the arbiters based on the arbiter control. So we're running three out of the four pumps and we've just got a one minute cycle on it with auto switching. So we'll see after a minute, it'll switch and switch to the next pump. Also, if we took the simulation off one of these pumps, the pump would fail and we'd see the pump switch out, right? So there's a normal automated switch. So it's now switched operation on the pumps and we heard the relays click on the Raspberry Pi. And now we could do something really funky and we could maybe kill the simulation on one of these pumps. So let's take the simulation off pump one, so pump one will f go into fail. So pump one will go into fail, and automatically the next pump will kick in in the set. Now, we didn't have to code that. That's automatically built into all of the components. Simulation, we build into the components by default so that you can do fat testing, you know, customer training, so we want to be able to train our operators all out of the box, right? So it's not just standards management. It's an actual change in philosophy. It's a change in approach that will now allow us to build on this because we have this rich relationship model through our connectors, we can go to the next stage. So this is our foundation layer. The next stage is level four automation, sorry, level five automation. What does that mean? Well, think of an autonomous car. Somehow a car can drive itself down the street, but we don't write a procedure for every turn and every bend it needs to take. The car can see where it's going. It has a destination that it needs to get to, so it knows how to get to the destination, but we're not proceduralizing every step. Think of your plant. When you're in a control room, you're seeing a guy sitting there monitoring the control screen. Why is he controlling it? What's he doing? He's responding to a breakdown or a failure or a change in operation. But when he's responding to it, he's really only doing a procedure thing anyway, so why couldn't the plant do it? It's because the operator is sitting back with a bigger vision than the plant has. What if through the connector model, we can give the plant that same vision? If the valves know what pipes they're connected to, the pipes know what pumps they're connected to, and we put it all together, now you've got an autonomous plant that can make decisions for itself, can recover in failure, and basically tune to give you the optimum outcome for the operation.